What's going on everybody, Robbie here, and it's time to take a look at Mega Constructs Pokemon Charmeleon. Uh, this set has 89 pieces and retails for right around $10. Uh, it's recommended for ages 6 and up, and the designation for the set is DYR76. Uh, on the front here, you can see, aside from the choking hazard, which is right on the front of the package, you can see Charmeleon here. And I'm really excited to have this guy because he is the last evolutionary stage of Charmander slash Charmeleon slash Charizard uh, that I needed for these Pokemon sets. So I'm really excited to have the full lineup at last. I uh, see he comes with a nice like lava flame base here. That's pretty cool looking. Uh, I'm excited to see that in person. On the back, you can see uh, we've got some other sets available. Uh, we've got Gyarados here. Uh, Squirtle versus Charmander and of course Charizard himself and you can check out all the reviews for those on my channel And on the back here you can also see a little bit better view of the flame base here We've got a lot of nice fire pieces available. Looks like you get kind of four of these in each set uh, These flame slash water pieces and a lot of these tiny flame pieces, which is really really cool uh, You get another nice flame bit for his tail and it's got a lot of nice segments in the tail as well So that's pretty cool and of course a nice buildable pokeball to display with your Charmeleon. So very very cool I picked this up at my local Toys R Us uh, again. It is ten dollars in the US so uh, looks like a pretty fun set. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get this thing put together and we will check it out in just a moment. All right, guys, so here we have the Charmeleon set and we're going to take a quick look at the base first. Uh, so first of all, you do get this lovely little Pokeball that comes with all of these mid evolution sets. So that's actually really cool. Very nice addition. It's very simple, just three pieces, one little printed in the middle. And I think it represents a Pokeball very nicely. Uh, next up, you do get all of these little flame elements, which is really cool. So you get these clear, orangey, yellow, kind of lava bits here. Uh, these plates and then some clear yellow plates on top of that, as well as some clear red. And then these little fires that you have dotted all over the place. You get four of these in the set, so I think that's actually really cool. They look very nice. Kind of little just flames jutting out of the, the uh, lava there. Some studs here, some red studs to uh, place your Pokeball onto. And it stays reasonably well. I've mentioned in another review that I think they should have used maybe some of these uh, wedges, like the, the, the gentler slopes in here uh, just to kind of hold these pokeballs a little more securely but it's not that big a deal and of course we do have some larger flame elements just like firing out of the uh, out of the rocks here so that's uh, overall pretty pretty neat effects here very very simple but I mean it's a very nice display stand for your Pokemon sets so that's cool now <clears throat> Charmeleon himself is very nicely done He's uh, got the, you know, standard weird lumpy noggin <laughs> that Charmeleon has. Uh, head is on a ball joint here, so you can get some nice, <laughs> nice expressive uh, looks out of him. He can look up, he can look down, side to side, all that good stuff. Very nice printing on his face. He almost looks a little bit too nice, because I know Charmeleon is known for being kind of a jerk. Uh, you know, kind of that, like, teenage stage, right? Um, he's got some ball-jointed shoulders and elbows, which is pretty cool. I think this is, he's the only one of these uh, mid-evolution guys that actually gets, like, elbows and, like, reasonable articulation in the arms. And the other two are just kind of... Like, just stock arms. But, you know, that works for them, and this works better better for Charmeleon, I think. Uh, and, of course, ball joints again in the legs. Get that going. Uh, he's got a big, <laughs> big pot belly, uh, thanks to some of the pieces that were first seen in the Krang Ninja Turtle set, I believe. Could be wrong there. And, of course, on the back, he does have this lovely tail uh, with four segments in it, so you can get a lot of... A lot of posability out of this tail. Uh, you can rotate it at the body, you can rotate it at any one of these joints, and really get any kind of pose you want out of it, as well as kind of let it let it rest down a little bit, just so you can get that nice, solid, 
uh, stance from Charmeleon, which I think works quite well. Uh, he does seem to be the smallest of the mid-evolution guys, uh, and I'll show that off really quickly here. So here he is next to Wartortle. See, they're about the same height, but War Wartortle just seems much more, like, solid, I guess. Well, like, you know, mass-wise, I suppose. And uh, here's with Ivysaur. And, I mean, yeah, obviously they are about the same size, but... Uh, Maybe he's just slimmer because he's more of a more of a scrapper than these guys. <laughs> so we get more of a you know like a weird toad and a turtle and but it works it works and they look good together. Uh, but the most important thing for me is that now I have all the evolutionary stages of Charmander. So we've got Charmander here, we've got Charmeleon here, and then of course we cannot forget Charizard. And I think they all work really nicely together. They look like a cohesive kind of group. And yeah, I'm just that's really cool. That's a really cool thing. If you're if you're a fan of Pokemon, that right there is just a really cool thing to to kind of have um, all all at once. And again, you know, I've done the I've done a couple of the Ionic sets. And they were just not, <laughs> not good. Uh, the designs, some of the designs were okay, um, but the uh, the quality is just was just not not up to snuff. Uh, but these, I'm I'm happy to say, the quality of these is top notch. The the pieces all fit together super nicely. Uh, the grip is nice and tight. Everything feels solid. The plastic quality feels good, and uh, it's just very very. Very pleasing, very exciting. I love the colors that they use. Uh, just the color palettes of Pokemon in general are are quite nice, I think. But uh, I think they capture the colors very nicely in these sets. So very, very pleased with that. Um, so like I said, this set is only ten bucks for Charmeleon and the background, and I think that's actually a really nice, uh, really nice price point for these. Uh, you could be, you know. <clears throat> for the piece count and the the size of the figure that you get, the posability of the figure and the quality, as well as the accessories, I think that's a that's a pretty fair price. So, I'm quite pleased with that. I'm very excited about what is coming up next for the Mega Constructs Pokemon series. Uh, I can't wait to see you know some legendaries, some you know newer Pokemon things like that. So uh, I'm looking forward to that and hoping they'll uh, they'll reveal those fairly soon. Maybe at uh, maybe at San Diego or one of those cool places that all the cool cats go <laughs> but anyway in the meantime that is going to do it for this review guys i want to thank you so very much for watching as always if you enjoy the video please hit that like button it really does help me and of course subscribe if you want to see what's coming up next uh, in the meantime thanks again for watching i'll see you guys in the next one bye for now